To welcome Dickness Florence for Yiki Alanyo Day, fondly called Mama Let Us Pray into the class of octogenarians, the children of Dickness Florence for Yiki Alanyo Day organized a Thanksgiving service as they were joined by family members, friends, and well wishers who turned out in impressive numbers, all dressed in gorgeous attires to celebrate with Dickness Florence for Yiki Alanyo Day as she turned 80 on the 15th of February 2018. Venue of the event was the M2 Arena Event Center, Ogudu, Lagos. Dickness Florence Fuyi Ke Alanyode, Ne Oye Deji Oye Niyi, was born into the family of Samuel and Dorcas Oye Deji Oye Niyi on the 15th of February 1938. She started her educational pursuit in Ogumosho. After a while, Young Florence worked at the SIM hospital for two years and later proceeded to the Women Training College, Kanu, from 1956 to 1958. After she obtained her teacher's grade 2 certificate, she was posted to the Baptist Primary School, Kafenchan. Dickness Florence Alayonde went further to pursue her teaching career at Baptist Women's College, Idiaba, and between 1973 and 1974, she obtained an associate diploma in education from the University of Ife, now Obafemiya Wallowa University. Mama had the opportunity to teach in several places in Oshun State. Mama was married to Joseph Olushola Alayode, and the union is blessed with children and grandchildren. The Thanksgiving service to celebrate Dickness Florence Alayode at 80 began formally with the opening prayer led by Dickness Fagbimi Ruth of the Yaba Baptist Church. Thereafter was the commencement of the praise and worship session. This was immediately followed by a series of hymn renditions. <laughs> During the tribute session, family members, friends, and well wishes of the celebrant spoke highly of her, describing her as a prayerful woman, a lover of God, and a woman of substance. <laughs> I'm going to share this. You might be a woman, a woman, a woman. I think you're a lot of parallel. 
In his brief exhortation titled, Giving God Thanks, Rev. Sam Ulunii, the pastor of the Yaba Baptist Church, admonished all to always live a life of thanksgiving to God in all circumstances. He ended by urging all to live a life of good deeds. Who doesn't like to be appreciated? Who doesn't like to hear thank you? Who is it that when you do something, even though you tell them, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, tell me, oh, my father, oh, so thank you, oh, that's a feel. Sometimes people will say, any oh, Mori, I remember calling. We say, as human beings, we learn to be appreciated. How much more God in heaven? As human beings, that we love to receive thank you from people. Even though naturally we will say, no, I don't want it, I don't want it, so that people will not say, I am taking the glory. But deep inside of us, we love it when people appreciate us. We love it when people say, you did very well. We love it when people say, thank you for what you have done. Our God also likes it when we say, thank you. We know that very well. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. 1 Corinthians 15, 57. He says, Thanks be to God for his indescribable gifts towards us. To usher the birthday girl into the new age, a prayer session was organized for her in company of Dickens and Dickenesses of the Yaba Baptist Church. In her remark, the celebrant, Dickness Florence Alanyode, started with a song of appreciation to God and further appreciated all for coming out to celebrate with her. She especially thanked God for his continuous grace and protection over her life and that of her family. <laughs> Later on, the Holy Bible was presented to the celebrant by Dickin Sandy Ajibuye from Gideon International Ministry as more hymnal renditions brought to Thanksgiving service to a close. The reception party followed immediately at the same venue with the grand entry of the celebrant in company of friends and family members as they danced graciously into the arena. <laughs> In the chairman's opening remark, 
Deacon Debo Tade expressed how excited he was to be a part of the occasion and praised the celebrant, Deaconess Florence Alayode, as a virtuous, hardworking, and a woman worth emulation in every area of life. I want to say that this woman seated by my side, a very strong woman. What they say is, woman is strong. It's not physical strength. We are talking about spiritual what? Spiritual strength. Very bold. I'm very fortunate. She worked and worked hard. And she has sought, she has received all of her children through the difficult times of life. What a wonderful woman you are. Your Almighty God will continue to give you that strength that you require. And these children that you have cared for, you have prayed, I'm praying for this, pray for them. They too will exemplify Christ in all that they do in the name of Jesus. We have several of them on the platform of success. Remember, may anybody remove them from the path of victory. In the name of Jesus. He later handed the microphone to the celebrant, who prayed for everyone and the nation as a whole. The cutting of the birthday cake was next, as supervised by the chairman of the occasion, Dikin Debotadi, after which a photo and video session ensued. <laughs> The vote of thanks was taken by the celebrant's son, Mr. Folari Alayode, who appreciated all for taking out time to come celebrate his mom. As she turned 80, he wished everyone God's protection and guardians as they journeyed back home. To crown the very eventful night was the Anyofe family at its best, as the celebrant was joined by family members, friends and well-wishers on the dance floor, as they celebrated till the very end. <laughs> From Biscon Communications, it's 80 hearty cheers and God's abundant blessings to Dickness Florence Fuyike Alayonde. <laughs>